Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival, episode 17, I believe. In the last episode, we completed the, I guess, looting of this enormous head city, as well as the end ship, and we got out. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, we got ourselves some loot. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find the specific thing that we found that's super valuable. Ah, that is. We got the elytra and it even has mending and unbreaking three on it which is absolutely amazing and we also have a phantom spawner up there so we can get phantom main brain which is huge so that is really good this mission has been a great success um i'm scared of dying with all this i really wish i could place down an ender pearl not ender pearl ender chest but i don't think that's a good idea right now actually i could do that i could actually place that Hmm, one of these have an ender chest. I think I'm actually going to do that because we have an ender chest back home and that is, we have an ender chest back home and I would, if I die, I would not want to lose this stuff. So let me place this ender chest in here actually. Oh, that, oh, we have, we have some guests in here. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put everything in here and we'll get back to it. Oh no. No. Why am I in here again? I didn't want... I didn't... I didn't... Oh, no. I don't have a shield. Um... That... Oh, dear. Uh... Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I talked about... The issue of potentially dying. Oh, no. No. Why? What? What? Why? What? What is this? Since when? No, 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 <laughs> why such a chaotic start? While we are here, I do want a few things, not taking that. Um, I'm going to take a few building blocks here and I'm going to look for some amber in that biome over there. And I'm also going to see if I can snatch up some of that because I do need... Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> I'm also running low on food. This is not a... Deal. Now, one thing we didn't get from the Sand City, unfortunately, um, was a Silk Touch something. We didn't get a Silk Touch pickaxe, unfortunately, but I'm hoping we might be able to do some enchanting soon. Because in the last episode, I actually said that I needed a data pack, something that allows me to make a few things. And guess what? I've made it. And I should say as well that it is will be available on my Patreon page if you're playing with this mod pack. Or better end in general. This data pack might be able to help you out because it allows you to make little stripe a ten, a ten. I can't pronounce that. Okay, um, and lapis lazuli, and I'll show you those recipes a little bit later. But first, I need to get some ender pearls so I can get back and forth a little bit easier. This should be able to do it. All right, and the and the man, and the man. We have looting. No, but this should make short work of them. There we go, just gotta do that a few more times and get some more ender pearls and I'll be good. All right, I now have three ender pearls. Hopefully this is going to be worth it. Uh, hopefully we'll have some interesting stuff down there as well. I also want to explore a little bit, you know? I want to explore a little bit. I also, I believe I updated the Bedheim mod as well. I think there was a new biome added as well. I think there was, I think there was. Anyway, let us, uh, I think I've already been in this biome. Have I? There's actually one thing that I really uh, want to see. How do I get? How do I get that? How do I get the paddle? Uh, if you guys know, do let me know down below in the comments. Uh, do we have anything of interest? I think this is one of those dark biome. Hello there. Hmm. That looks like a building actually. I don't think it's an end city or an. Is that snow? How is that snow? In the end. <laughs> How? Regardless, I think there's some sort of hut over there. Which I think could be worth checking out. My question is just... Um, I think I've got to go back to the main island and then go through this forest in order to get there. Let's do a little bit of exploration this episode. I've left everything important in the end of the chest, so even if I die, I would lose this. But eh, it's because of vanishing anyway, so eh, not too bad. So by the looks of things, if I just teleport over here and then walk all the way down here, or even down here and then over, we should find some interesting stuff. That does not look like the dark biome, actually. Okay, now I'm very intrigued. We're going. <laughs> We're going on a field trip. Yeet. 
the food supplies though are getting dangerously low. Uh, nearly there, act. Oh. Yeah, this could be a new biome, actually. This could be a new biome. Uh, shall we traverse this interesting looking crystal? Let us do that. Probably a little bit dangerous, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Wow, this is. Oh, okay, that's um, not ideal. No thanks. I'm good. Oh, wait. Whoa, hold up. Okay, so when I stand on Ancient Emerald Ice, I start getting the freezing effect from 1.17? That's cool. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna climb now. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can clearly see where the new generation has kicked in instead of the old generation here in this biome. So a little bit glitched, but you know what? We, we can deal with it. Um, I don't have that many pearls left. Can I yeet over there? Ah, perfect. Oh, hello there. Um, not gonna lie, that looks kind of volcanic. <laughs> but it looks awesome, though. It looks awesome. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I was originally planning on trying to get gunpowder in this episode because we just got the elytra, but guess what? We're exploring instead, which is also fun, especially when there's new stuff to explore. Ooh. Pelidium. Oh, I love the sounds. What is this biome called? What's it called? Better end, Umbra Valley. Umbra. Flamelix. This place is sick. Full cover. What's a. Oh, wait. This is. What's this? Wait, what's that? Oh. But the crystals. It looks like crystals. Is it just me or does that look like crystals? How does it know the difference between... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> wow. Look at this weird... I don't want to run too much here. This is some interesting generation. On particles as well. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It kind of like... Did a thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Um... That's an end city with another ship. I don't think we're going to deal with that today. Uh, de no, we're definitely not going to deal with that today, <laughs> considering my food levels. I'm going to check out that house that's over here. Um, and unless that has food, I think we're going to have to uh, to leave that place for another time. What is really cool about the End Survival series is because Better, better End is in constant development, we're getting new features other than just the same all the time. So we're getting to cover new stuff sometimes, which is really cool. I love it. What I'm not loving is having the void right under me. Also this fog and also my food is not in the best situation ever. So I'm not happy about that, but I'm, ha I'm happy about the updates. <laughs> if I had food, I would consider going to the end city, but I don't have food. So I'm not gonna go to the end city, though I think the house is on that island. Um, oh, there's water here? Hello. I still want to go back to that orange uh, biome to see if we can maybe find some amber, because we need amber. That is one material that is, that seems, at, l at least seems rare. I don't know if it spawns, like, inside the island, so I could technically branch mine for it. That might be doable, and I might need to try that. But um, for now, uh, I would love to get those as well, but I don't really... Okay, I'm not directly under the house, so I think if I just place myself here and go up, I might be able to break the oars on my way up. And yoink. And then, according to the map, I should be able to just go all the way up. And then I should be right in front of whatever this thing is, and hopefully it's not booby-trapped or dangerous. But I guess that's one of the risks of being an explorer. You never know when something is booby-trapped. Hello, that's the surface. Okay, we're in a bush. Oh! Okay, I, I needed to make sure that that wasn't a spawner. Um, well, this is a full-on house here. I don't think it has any 
Any holes or anything? What are these? Thalassium bars. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is... That's scary. Uh, this is cool. Ah. Well, if there was something in this chest, unfortunately, I won't know. <laughs> oh, whoops. Again, because of the update, um, I think the chest got kind of reset, unfortunately. I don't know what would normally have been in this chest, um, so if it would have been something cool. Feel free to scream at me below in the comments, but I couldn't really do anything about it. What is this? <gasps> That's an eternal crystal! That's like... Kinda expensive to make. Yeah. <laughs> We got an eternal crystal from this. I don't care what's in the chest. Okay, I do, but yes. <laughs> eternal crystal, that's really valuable. I'm going to take this as well. This is a cool little house. That's very cool. I'm very curious now on what w what would have been in that chest. Um, but hopefully we can find others and hopefully we'll then know. Um, but yeah, clearly there's an end city here with loot in it, but we're not in the greatest position to definitely not in the greatest position to cover all of that but that's cool that's cool we have that not too far away from us okay wow right i'm gonna head back now and um i will see you back at the old end city um need to see if i have any backup food wait can i eat these what are these <gasps> wait i can cook i can eat these I, I've been able to cook all these. Oh, well, how do I, how, can I grow these? Guys, let me know if I can grow these down below in the, in the, in the comments. Oh, wow. Okay, well then. Uh, I still don't think I'm going to take that uh, take on that end city uh, today. The episode is going to be way too long. Um, so I think I'm going to skip that for now. I want to really go back to the, um, to the old end city to see if I can get my hands on some amber before we go home plus we just looted an end city so eh but what i do want to do is cook this up so i have some food for the journey back home this is going to take a while though so while we do that let me show you uh the recipes i've made for these three things so the leather stripe it's not really super uh important what you basically use it for is to make a rather wrapped stick and you use that to make any of the etern et 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 eternium <laughs> I'm butchering that word, uh, word um, tools here, smith hammer, etc., which we probably want to make because I've changed the Eternium ingot recipe, um, but I'll cover that afterwards. Um, so basically, what to to make the leather stripe, I decided, okay, in the smithing table, we're going to combine dense vine, all right, and jungle vine. And my reasoning for that is, hear me out, while I eat another rock mushroom, Dense vine plus vine, if we combine it kind of like making a rope, it's going to provide a, a suitable replacement. So th that's my logic behind this. Um, normally it's made like this, but a smithing table and leather stripe. Yep, that's how we make that. Um, now, lapis lazuli. I might change this, but basically I have made it so that if we infuse in the endstone smelter, we're alloying basically here. An eternal crystal with cyan dye, it makes lapis lazuli. And my logic behind that one is the two colors needed to make blue is basically cyan and magenta. And I looked at these eternal crystals, they are expensive, and also they have a slight tint of magenta down there. So I thought eternal crystal with cyan dye alloyed together makes one lapis lazuli each crystal. That way, the lapis lazuli also becomes extremely valuable for making these sort of things right here in the infusion pedestal which for every kind of enchanted book we need to make we need four of these so i think that's a fair deal though i am thinking we have the infusion pedestal right here and i could make a recipe using this so i might actually do that instead of using the alloy furnace but for now that is how we make it basically right here let me know if you think it should be an alloying process or an infusion pedestal. I feel like maybe infusion pedestal, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, this was hard because netherite is kind of precious. Um, 
So it was hard finding a replacement, but I did. Basically, in the alloy smelter, this is the normal recipe, this is the new recipe. And I want to argue that this is harder to get than the netherite ingot. You see, I could easily get back to the old world, make another portal, go down, easily branch by for a little bit and gate engine debris to make another right ingot, right? But to make the eternal crystal, I need, first of all, an infusion pedestal, which I can only make with an eye of ender, which takes this much amber. So that's how to get in of itself. Then I need to get the end crystal, which requires a gas tier, another eye of ender, seven glass, and I need to use these resources and the shards right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna argue that the eternal crystal is actually in my situation harder to get the netherite, which makes which makes the armor more valuable. So yeah, that's my logic behind that. Um, let me know if you agree or disagree down below in the comments. Leave suggestions if you have any. Um, I'm open to suggestions. But anyways, now with my newly cooked mushrooms, it is time for me to head home. Hopefully, in a safe an orderly manner. This is dangerous lifting all fingers from A and D. I am not pressing sideways. I'm gonna run because I don't like this. Okay. I'll meet you back at the end city. See you then. Alright, I am now at the orange biome. As you can see, I, I allowed myself to take some more mushrooms with me because they are very good. And I am now back here uh, at the uh, end What's it called? At the end city, and I will now be hoping to get a, just a little bit of amber. I haven't really been looking for it as such, but th this time I'm actually hunting for it, so I'll be looking at like the. Oh, that! Ow! I'll be looking like on the ground and on the sides, hoping not to miss anything. Specif specifically, like on the side, like that. I'll be keeping my eye out on that, and I hope I'll be able to get some because I do not have a whole lot. Of amber as it is, it's actually kind of kind of scary. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll I'll do that and I'll update you when there's something new to be updated about. So um, just hope I don't fall in the void with any of this stuff. See a cliffside like this. Everything in this biome is orange, so like that that looked like it, but it's not amber. So I gotta look up, but I also gotta look down to see where I'm walking, because it's dangerous here. Ay ay ay! Just got a random crystal. That, that's normal. Ooh, what about here? I feel like the amber ore needs to be a little bit more common, but then again, it does unlock some very valuable things. This one. That's. Ugh. I don't like how I need. To I don't like how that is placed. I will go for it, but I do not like how that is positioned. It is, though, an okay big vein. Question, do I have... Uh, I don't have fortune on my pickaxe. See, having fortune would be great. Can I... Can I craft fortune? Because it looks like I can... Oh, I can. Oh, never mind. That requires a rabbit's foot. <laughs> we don't exactly have rabbits here in the end. But maybe we have another pickaxe or can find one. Okay, so that is five amber. It takes... Okay, I don't know if I want to stay anymore. <laughs> is it just me or is that sound becoming louder and louder? I'm worried. Kind of creeped out. I want to go home now. It basically takes five raw amber in order to make an amber gem. Uh, four, sorry. Um, which is quite a lot of amber. Oh, there's more there, though. Um, but yeah, that is... Oh, dear. I don't... Eh. Why does it... Oh, there's more here. Forget that one. <laughs> like, not only is it rare, it is also dangerous to get your hands on. Plus the sentiment. We have made it home. Just in time to... That is one thing I don't enjoy by living in this biome. The amount of slimes that spawn in this biome. It's too many. But anyways, we made it home, finally. 
at last, and we should have everything in here. Awesome. Guys, this has been a very successful mission, I think. We got 22 raw amber in total, and how much do we actually have? Um, where do I keep my amber? Aha, so we have 16 raw amber. I'm gonna take this eternal crystal, put it in there, then the shards as well as that. Um, 38 raw amber, that is not bad at all actually. We can make, how many can we make with that? So that's 4, 38 divided by 4. Uh, that would basically result in 9 amber gems, which is pretty, pretty good actually, considering we need 4 of them to make eyes of ender. And then we need to make use them to, in order to make crystal light boots and stuff, which is cool armor. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, I will be looking into making gunpowder so we can actually use the elytra that we got. It's in, it's in here somewhere that we actually got in the last episode so we can start flying around, which is actually going to open up a lot of opportunities. Also, of course, if you have any suggestions on these recipes, put them down below in the comments as well. I'm open to suggestions. I might even change, as I said, the Laps Lazuli one. I might change that, but I don't know yet. So suggestions are welcome down below in the comments. Now, I noticed in the comments that some of you uh, said that I don't need to make a data pack for getting Lapis Lazuli. I could just use, I think it was the Eternal Portals to get to the overworld and just mine the Lapis Lazuli normally. Um, that is true, I could do that, but because this is end survival, this is a dimension survival. I can only live in the end dimension, I can't leave it. I can't even go to the nether if I wanted to. Um, I have to stick in this dimension, which is kind of the rules of the series. So, that is true, I could go to the overworld, which would make things easier, but that's kind of the point, I want it to be a challenge. It's a challenge that I can only live in this dimension alone. But uh, it's a good point, but yeah, um, in end survival, I can't leave the end. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.